Thank you, Walker. And we're back at the Gardens of Somerset in Starlington, and I'm here with the marketing director, Stuart Scalia. Stuart, thank you so much for joining us, and thank congratulations on a great turnout for thank your grand you. opening and ribbon cutting. We are so happy. It ended up we got sunshine. We're so happy. Uh, we made it. It's a yeah. beautiful evening. Beautiful day. What do you offer here at the Gardens of Somerset? Uh, so we have independent living, assisted living, and memory care. Um, our facility can house up to 100 units which you know could be couples even but we have plenty of space for folks to be here and independently live and then progress into an assisted living type mm -hmm. program which is a good thing it enables them to come in once and then move around as needed really actually within the facility in the community and that's the goal is that they don't have to move several times and go here they're mm -hmm. they're, they're settled here and they can really and be happy and be here for years and years and not have to move again or have that struggle of moving. That takes away a lot of stress. A lot of stress. It is a beautiful facility. You've been open for how long? And you were we telling me there's a reason for the delay yes. in the grand opening. We've been open probably about Technically, we've been open since July mm -hmm. of last year, um, but we they were building during COVID. So, of course, we had all the COVID delays. We had the things to do with the lumber and the, you know, just things that backed up and backed up the project. So, it, it, they finally got us open, and we have been really open probably six, seven, eight months now. So technically and we're filling up fast which is a good thing. I've heard a lot about this yeah. great chef. <laughs> oh our chef he's the he's the ace in the uh -huh. hole we have so many folks that come and you know we're in Louisiana this is um, a place of food and fun and so he is wonderful he has um, he has country club experience he has hospital experience so he can hand do any any diet for anyone but the food is fabulous and we get folks all the time just joining us for lunch and, and dinner. I'm going to have yep. to do that for it sure. Great. It is great. And do great. you do tours here at the Gardens we of do. Somerset? And we, how can someone arrange one? Okay, so if you guys will call, just call us. You can call the main line. You can call us on our cell. Um, set up a tour. We love it when they come in. If they mm -hmm. want to set a tour date, that's fine. But you're welcome to drop in and look around. Anytime we're going to take somebody around and look. Stuart, we got about a minute left. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you'd like to mention that I haven't asked you? Um, I just think that this is such a blessing to our community. Mm -hmm. The owner and uh, P. Allen designed this to be um, a community, truly a community. So when you leave your home, you are coming into a community, not just an environment of, you know, elderly folks. It's all folks. We have kids, we have adults, we have um, the residents. It's just a nice place to be. Mm -hmm. Lots going on. Yes, there is. And I can really feel that it's community. Yes. And I yes. can feel the love here it at is. Gardens of Somerset and Sterlington. We sprinkle the love. Yes, we do. Absolutely. Stuart, thank you so much thank for joining you. us again. Um, I'll you. see you back in. And congratulations on a great thank turnout. So I can't much. wait to look at the facility. And coming up next on Louisiana Living, we're going to sit down with Carrie Hefner with a special edition of In the Garden. So stay with us.